question says find the volume of the solid that lies above the cone z equals to x squared plus y squared and below x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals to z well okay what is this object let's take a look at this rough sketch the rough sketch here x y and z well here we have a cone this is my cone it just continues on all sides and then you have a sphere so to understand the behavior of this sphere in x y and z you can write it as x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus z equal to zero and complete the square and right here you get x squared plus y squared plus z squared here you have minus c and here you have a half so you're going to add a fourth and equals to a fourth so it's going to be x squared plus y squared plus z minus a half to the second equals to a half to the second so it means that you have a center at zero zero and a half with radius a half very good so zero zero and a half suppose this guy is just right here and then you have your sphere this is the sphere that you have okay perfect so we're looking at this object here it's above the cone and below the sphere so it's roughly this object just have it all shape perfect so what is this guy how to identify my type is it a cylindrical coordinate system is it a spherical coordinate system what should i do since i have a sphere here right i'm going to convert everything into spherical coordinate system well what is rho in this case how do i define my rho rho the definition of rho is crystal clear and my rho is just bounded between zero and it stops at take a look at this i'm going to show you how to find the boundary for your rho rho starts at zero and it stops at where take a look at this equation from this equation you get rho squared equals to remember the definition of z right what was the definition of z when we defined z in spherical coordinate system we said that z is equal to well here you have a relation between rho and phi so your z was defined as a rho cosine phi all right so here you can say that if i bring rho cosine phi to the other side or simplify that as a rho equals to cosine phi what you see you see a rho is bounded between zero and cosine phi this is the boundary that you have for your rho so what about my phi what about my theta we don't have any issue with theta itself if you look at the projection or slice in x y plane my theta is bounded between zero and two pi but we have some issue to find the boundary for our phi phi is the angle between positive part of z-axis and it maximized at this value then what is this value okay so to find your phi what we can do you can say that hey my z is equal to square root of x squared plus y squared what's the definition of z z is defined as a row cosine phi and inside your radical you have your x what was the definition of x x was defined as a row sine phi and cosine theta to the second plus row sine phi sine theta to the second so on the left you have rho cosine phi on the right you have square root of rho squared sine squared phi cosine squared theta plus rho squared sine squared phi 
and sine squared theta. This is theta. And you have to simplify the whole thing. Rho cosine phi is equal to, I get factor out rho squared becomes a rho. I get factor out sine squared, which is sine phi. And I left with square root of sine squared plus cosine squared, which is just one, right? So what's the meaning of that? It says, hey, rho cosine phi is equal to rho sine phi or cosine phi is equal to sine phi from trig phi is equal to pi over four. I just found the boundary for my phi. Phi is bounded between zero and pi over four. So I have everything that I need, right? I just need to do the computation. I need to calculate this volume. Volume is equal to triple integral of d v, or v is equal to the triple integral. Well, here I have my theta, zero to two pi. I have my phi, zero to pi over four, and I have my rho. So rho, as you know, is bounded between zero and cosine phi. And what about dv? dv was defined as rho squared sine phi. Here I have d rho, d phi, d theta, that I need to compute them all very good. So let's see. This guy V becomes, um, so do we have any connection between theta, phi, and rho? No. So I can separate these. 0 to 2 pi, D, theta. What about this guy here? Well, there's a connection between these two. So I'm going to do the computation separately. Integral 0 to pi over 4. And here I have rho squared, which becomes 1 third rho cubed. I have a sine phi and zero to cosine phi. And here I have my d phi. Perfect. So v becomes okay, 2 pi. And I have a third. And if I plug that in here, I get integral 0 to pi over 4. And I have cosine to the third of phi, sine phi, and d phi. Very good, excellent. So far, looks good. So this guy becomes two pi over three. And here I'm going to use u sub. u is cosine phi, and du becomes negative sine phi, d phi. So I'm going to put a negative sign in front of it, and I get one fourth, u to the fourth, of cosine to the fourth of theta, zero to pi over four. So if I do the computation here, it is equal to, I can simplify this, I get, okay, let's see, and I have square root available here, am I right? So this guy becomes, very good simplification, remember that cosine of pi over 4 is equal to 1 over square root of 2, so if I raise it to the fourth power, it is equal to the 4, or you get 1 fourth back, am I right? So if you do the simplification, it's equal to pi over 8.